Hello and welcome to this episode of Healthy and Happy Senior Living. My name is Stephen Carter and I am your host. I am the founder for Stress Solutions LLC, which is now Stress Solutions USA. For more than four decades, I have helped thousands and thousands of people move from stress to success. And as I enter and well into my senior years, I am keen to help others live as healthy and happy a life as we possibly can as the years roll along. You'll find my other podcasts mostly focused on stress release, stress management, You'll find those on the website at stressreliefradio.com, stressreliefradio.com. This show, Healthy and Happy Senior Living, this show helps seniors and caregivers live healthier, happier lives. With each episode, you're going to discover the latest research, tools, tips for enhancing every area of your life. For our first story, we go to medical news today. And by the way, all of these articles will be linked up in the show notes. Vitamin D supplements may help reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Key points shared in this article. One, systemic review and meta-analysis. And what that means is they've looked at a large number of studies Systemic review and meta-analysis have found that individuals with pre-diabetes could lower their risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 15% by supplementing with vitamin D. Next point. However, the reduction of risk with vitamin D was not as great as the reduction achieved by making intensive Lifestyle modifications, another study showed. Third point, other researchers caution individuals should weigh the benefits and risks of taking vitamin D supplements with their doctor. In other words, talk to your doctor. And by the way, I hope you are getting your annual physical and with that, a full blood test. Make sure you're getting a vitamin D measurement with those blood tests. Story two, also from Medical News Today. What are the signs that tinnitus or tinnitus, whatever you prefer, what are the signs that tinnitus is going away? Possible signs that tinnitus is going away include a decrease in the duration of volume of tinnitus, and improvements to sleep and mood. Tinnitus affects approximately 10% of the population of the United States. There is currently no cure for permanent tinnitus or tinnitus. However, sometimes tinnitus can be temporary and may go away on its own. If you're dealing with this situation, I encourage you to have a look at this article. Our third post is not an article, it is a video, a video by a tech expert. Title of this YouTube video, Share Your Story with Future Generations, iPhone, iPad, Mac. Share Your Stories with Future Generations, iPhone, iPad, Mac. That is the name of the video. Description, How to Create an Audio Journal that Can Be Shared with Future Generations. Work on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. No third-party software needed. Perfect for parents or grandparents. This video will be linked in the show notes. Please don't be put off by the fact that this is an Apple-centric video and the tools and methods he described are on Apple devices. The information he's sharing can be applied to any device, whether that's Android, Windows, whatever. 
Here's a post I shared on one of my social media sites. As the years roll along, it may cross your mind to share your life story with grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and even later generations to come. The video blow offers one way to do that. Ignore the Apple-centric mechanics. This same approach can be done using an Android or Windows device. If you decide to create a legacy story of your life, I suggest printing a transcript, copying the audio files to portable storage, gathering a reasonable number of uh, photographs, and storing all of this information in a safe deposit box or other safe place where family members can have access years down the road. Use online storage as well as creating and properly storing the physical items. By the way, if you would like some guidance as far as the mechanics of recording, send me an email at cartermethod at gmail.com and I'll be happy to provide that information to you if this project or this type of project is of interest. Our next story comes from the February 8th, 2023 online edition of medicalexpress.com. Headline, study reveals that much still is not known about cognitive decline. Study reveals that much is still not known about cognitive decline. Lead paragraph, The risk factors linked to cognitive decline in older adults explain a surprisingly modest amount about the large variation in mental abilities between older people, according to a new national study. Researchers found that the factors most commonly associated with cognitive functioning include socioeconomic status, Education and race explained only 38% of the variations in functioning among Americans at age 54. Health behaviors such as avoiding obesity and smoking and participating in vigorous exercise had only very small effects on functioning by the time people reached their mid-50s. Now, there are other studies that tell us exercise and other healthy living practices will make a difference in delaying or positively affecting mental decline. So again, this story, like all of the stories, will be linked in the show notes. So let's go back to YouTube Neuroscientists' secret breathing technique only top 1% do. Now, this is kind of clickbaity, but uh, Andrew Huberman is, uh, he's a doctor. He's a, I believe he holds not only an MD, but a PhD. He is very popular on YouTube, and he, unfortunately, either he or whoever handles these posts on his uh, behalf to put out some of these clickbaity type stories. But this is good information. Neuroscientist Andrew Huberman explains how everybody can eliminate stress and anxiety with Wim Hof breathing technique. Huberman reveals the truth about Wim uh, Wim Hof breathing. Wim Hof is a very interesting individual. He has pioneered a variety of different methods for stress and for human performance. What is relevant here is not so much the Wim Hof method. That's probably not what many people are going to be interested in. But in this video uh, discussion with uh, Huberman, he explains or he demonstrates a very simple breath, uh, well, it's not a meditation, it's a breath practice that will lower the stress response. And it's 
absolutely simple as simple can get. The idea here is you want to extend the exhalation for a longer period than the inhalation. And there are physiological reasons why this creates the relaxation response. So give this a try. Breathe in till you're almost full. Breathe in and then breathe in a second time to top off the air in your lungs. And then exhale with a long sigh. So it goes. Repeat that two, three, four times. As I did it, I could feel the stress just release from my shoulders and chest. It's simple. It's effective. And this can be done multiple times during the day, throughout the day, to reduce stress. Again, the link to this video will be linked in the show notes. For our next story, we return to medical news today. Ultra-processed foods linked to increased death risk from breast and ovarian cancer. Ultra-processed foods linked to increased death risk from breast and ovarian cancer. Key points here. One, for many years, scientists have linked a healthy diet to a lowered risk for certain diseases. Second point, researchers from Imperial College London found that eating ultra-processed foods increases a person's risk for developing cancer overall, specifically ovarian and brain cancers. And third, scientists also found eating those foods heightens a person's risk of dying from all cancers, especially ovarian and breast cancer. It's been said that we are what we eat, and there's certainly some truth to that, and also, what we eat certainly can affect our health. This article may prompt you to do a little bit better with your diet choices. Medical news today, again. What to know about cloudy vision after cataract surgery? What to know about cloudy vision after cataract surgery? While most people experience uh, this is a quote, lead, uh, lead paragraph. While most people experience improved vision after surgery, some report persistent or newly developed cloudy vision due to posterior capsular opsification, that, say that three times, an easily treated complication of cataract surgery. And uh, this article goes on to describe that condition and how it's handled. If you have had cataract surgery uh, or you have it planned for the future, this is a worthy study to or a worthy article to have a look at. Next up, another medical news today, Alzheimer's. Healthy lifestyle linked to slower memory decline regardless of genetic risk. Alzheimer's. Healthy lifestyle linked to slower memory decline regardless of genetic risk. Key points in the article. Researchers followed more than 29,000 older adults, 60 years old and older, over 10 years to investigate the link between lifestyle choices and memory loss. Next point, they found a link between a healthy lifestyle and slower memory decline, even in the presence of the APOE gene, number four gene. It's got an odd thing after between APOE and four, so I'm not sure what that is, but there's obviously a genetic uh, component here. They found a link between a healthy lifestyle and slower memory decline, 
even with the presence of this gene, which is associated with Alzheimer's disease. Third key point, researchers hope their findings will inform public health initiatives seeking to prevent memory loss in older adults. And our final story from Psychology Today, Aging Men Speak Out About Avoiding Irrelevance. Aging Men Speak Out About Avoiding Irrelevance. Key Points. Older men share their wisdom for how to age meaningfully. Next point, one common theme readers suggest is to mentor younger people. Mentor younger people. Third key point, a second theme is to focus on relationships with other people in a way to develop meaning. A second theme is to focus on relationships with other people as a way to develop meaning. We want meaning in our lives, and there are multiple ways to create that sense of meaning. Certainly being a mentor to younger people is one way, and there are, of course, many, many others. Do have a look at this study if this topic is of interest. As always, all of these articles will be linked in the show notes. If you have yet to subscribe to Healthy and Happy Senior Living, you can do that where you get your podcasts. If you would like to listen to previous episodes, I will have a website linked in the show notes where you can have a listen to previous episodes. And there are links there where you can subscribe or follow in many of the major listening apps. When you follow or subscribe, you will never miss an episode. If you would like to be in touch with me for any reason, email me at cartermethod at gmail.com. Until our next visit together, your host here, Stephen Carter, wishing for you and your loved ones blessings in abundance. <laughs>